I mean, what is what is Falcon's uh, AP brand looking for in this draft? Like, how how does this draft functions function? I think early, you got Roger, you got Hayabusa, you got Cho, right? Can be a constant nuisance on that jungle. Right, early gets. I mean, if it's, uh, it is a final game, it will lead to a question that what happened to Falcon after that MSC? Have they actually fallen off so badly to a point that YRG can able to temple them? Or people might actually question, YRG, what happened to you after the MSC? Is it you that has become so much powerful to a point yeah. that Falcon cannot do anything? Started out really a little bit of uh, uh, skillet on the side, both from the top as well as the mid lane, but it's not going to do anything. Pretty much, they're just going to tease it off. Kyle TZ will be able to actually take off with that buff. On the other note, right here, we have Innocent guarding trying to make sure that he will not be fallen into the hands of three players falcon mm -hmm. and we are starting to see here both junglers cross mapping mm -hmm. and yeah two purifies again res from respective from both respective teams Fio and marco super and marco and innocent and stormy here does not want to do business with crowd control seems mm -hmm. like Agree, definitely. I think that's all he sounds like here. Cramps not beating off the cloud. He cut as he flicks away a few, giving a little bit of support system to Cramps. But he scattered away, scattered away, away, away from, from the fight. But he does try, try to actually tease a little bit more stormy. He's right on the scene. We'll try to actually go in for the initiation as well. Holding off, clears out the minion. Now pulling through, it seems that Cram says nope, backing off Stormy. Tried to actually overcommit just a little bit, but it's just gonna give a lot of disturbance as well. Mm -hmm. You can see here Ogwen on the other side of the map actually trying to poke Sikai's over and it actually worked, right? Purple buff still taken for Sikai's, but he's half HP before the turtle, so that's already info for a Falcon's AP brand that they might want to commit on towards Turtle. And take a look at the mid side here already, Ogwen. Cell has the flicker, but has to recall. Agree, definitely. Oh, I mean, never like, mind. I think he was just playing off right now, just trying to actually get it off. And they are already going in for the turtle, halfway through. Grams coming in, but it's not gonna be easy as they already committing to finish it off, and they managed to get that turtle for themselves. This is what we've seen again, Falcon. Up ahead, one step ahead from the side of SRG. They know that they are better off to actually get those goals for themselves. Mm -hmm. A very different early game here. You know, yeah. Red Giants, they weren't able to find their footing on towards that first turtle because of uh, the Ling yeah. half HP. But let's see here. They're trying to find compensation perhaps towards that top side. And yeah, both teams actually focusing down on towards that top side of the map. But... No window just yet. No window just let, yeah, yet. So far, things are very, very slow and patient right here for both teams of SRG as well as AFCAP. Coming in for a fight right here. Krem's going to be with the flat C. Just a little bit more. He might be able to actually pull through. But unfortunately, flat Z gets away with that fight and Krem just skirt away. Mm -hmm. And you can see here, no spells whatsoever. Oh, never mind. There you go. Way of Dragon on towards one. And with the Shadow Kill, you will be forced to use the Flicker. But no First Blood here in the first four minutes. Oh, this is actually interesting. We haven't had any First Blood whatsoever compared to what we've seen on first game. It mm -hmm. was much more ambitious for both sides of the team. I mean, yes, Falcon was the one who actually initiated that First Blood. But we did see a trade-off from the team of YRG but now pushing two straight at the top we do see that Innocent will be pushing Ogwen out from the two red not gonna actually commit for that as we see Yums right here at the mid lane Stormy try to help things out but few just few away to actually move from the site mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it seems like again it's a slow start you mentioned yeah. this Almost hit the five minute mark. No first blood whatsoever. Take a look at top lane. Oh, Innocent in trouble. One Ooh. HP. He survives. My goodness. And Uterid Giants there dodge a huge bullet. And Kyle Teasy half HP. So will he commit on towards the, the turtle? It seems like, yeah, with the lifesteal he has. But it seems like Uterid Giants, they are not going to give that for free. All right. Cram, the one who actually backed things off, making sure that. 
YRG will be able to get it, but oh, coming in, Ogwen overextending himself. He will be in the pick, takes it down, and the turtle will be taken off straight away for the YRG, despite Falcon try to serve. Man, Sakai is fast hands. Stormy now in trouble. Yums as well. It seems like 5T will find a kill and another on towards Stormy. Super Marco collecting that kill, and Sakai as well not be able to claim that jungle creep. Meanwhile, Call TZ will be able to. And take a look at that. Falcons AP Brand, they lost the earlier fight and the turtle, but they got the mid early. That's a huge blow from the side of Yudura Giants. I mean, they're they're pulling all stops. They'll be able to actually win victory over victory to the side of YRG. Yes, you get the turtle, but at least we got the trade-off for ourselves. But 17 to 15k at the moment right now, I feel like it's still anybody's game, Falcon. I'm, I I feel like w the moment that we always going in for a fight with y uh, YRG as well as Falcon, they always slow things down. They try to actually, min uh, try to to calculate as much as possible, but here on our few goes for initiation. Rams try to actually be taken out, but Ogwen comes through and innocent with Stormy sticking together, taken down. Yums, first of all, to be actually shut down, and we have oh. Ogwen and a here on out. It seems that Super Marco is also trying to push in. We got Innocent will be able to be traded off. But in the same process, we got Stormy also being shuttled on. Oh, oh. Sakai's finds a trade, but he will fall as well. And that's a wipe, wipe out. out. Falcons AP Brand finding the revenge from the first game. And now they're really, really claiming more control, more space in the jungles. And take a look at Yuru Red Giants. They need to watch their mid-tier 2 taken out. Wow, the overextension did not come in the favor of YRG. Did not expect that, seriously. I mean, Super Marco going in straight to actually take down YRG. And then after one another, YRG wasn't expecting it. And even Sakis was a bit too slow for the action. And now they're going to push in straight away for the second turtle. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. It's Falcon AB Brand leading in goal, leading in kills and space. Let's see, though. How TC securing the last turtle. Cram flickering out of the way. Oh! With the quad shadow does not connect on towards any members just yet though. And Falcons AP Bren still win, but no casualties for now. No casualty whatsoever. Falcons is doing well so far. Innocence will be actually going back straight to the base. They have to actually get a sense of the formation itself because the fact is they can't pull it off all by themselves. They have to actually be in one unit. They have to work together find a pattern to actually break for Team Falcon to falter. Yeah, three Thunderbolts built already from the side oh. of Yudu Red Giants. The Ling, uh, the Barats, and the Kufra. Mm. So there's damage, but also they're so sustained. That's uh, sustainable. And that is perhaps what Falcon, uh, Falcon AP Brand needs to, you know, okay, they have Thunderbolt, so let's not commit on towards Sakai's if the opportunity isn't that big. Let's just, you know, stay composed, wait for the right timing, and take a look at this. Sakai has managed to push. Oh! Oh! He's caught! No. no! He was just about to go, but nevertheless, he was able to pull through. He's going out, and it seems that Ooh. he just almost close enough to his own death, but he managed to move away to survive it out. Yeah, the great escape there in this game. And now, Yudu Red Giants, again, without Sakai's, they will not be able to be more aggressive. And the purple buff, oh, unfortunate, will, should be taken by Falcon's AP Friends. So that's twice now, no purple buff for Sakai's. And yes, yeah, RG, they need to play defense. They gotta do it, they gotta do it. Because so far right now, the aggression coming on from Falcon is just too much to bear. YRG response is coming off a little bit too slow and to a point that most of the advantage is coming in for the team of Falcon. Lord has been spawned and this is the signal will be put out for that scrimmage to be open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can see here again, um, Falcon say rebrand trying to dictate control. Oh. Wave Dragon all towards Yums, a Roamer Flicker is committed. And now day one war, Stormy will be taken out. Good, last inside of Flicker as well. Kram surviving, surviving barely, but the Tempest of Blade will find the shutdown. Looking for the double, it's Super Marco in wolf form. Looking for blood, oh. and Kyle Teasy 
Cheeky Angle finds the kill. I mean, at least Kiss did manage to actually turn it off, but unfortunately, he's already down by the lifeline. Innocent? And it, oh no! Wait, what? Oh. Innocent? Almost. Almost. He jumped in. Almost got a kill, but now he is in trouble. Tempest Blade that was stolen actually will not be able to find a mark. But Sakai's will fall nonetheless. Innocent as well. I mean, Innocent will fall nonetheless. And Yuta Red Giants claiming another L. Oh, this is not looking so good. At least I, I will feel proud of myself after this game. You know why? Because my prediction is coming true. Falcon is actually responding well. But here on out, going in for a fight right this instant. It's going to be Sakai. We're able to take down few. Oh, 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 super. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Scott Easy. The Quad Shadow connects on towards it, guys, and he will be taken down. Now, Yudere Giants full defense with the Lord. It's a 4v5 with the Lord. You, though, will not be able to participate, and that will be it. Yudere Giants, great defense. And now they will have to clear the super minions first, though. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, I, I'm, I'm loving it. The fact that the defense was is doing well, but Flat Easy. Crams, he, he should not overcommit. There's, there's two players right there, and somehow he gets the information, and Flappy Z just moves away. Just when they thought they tried to do an ambush, Crams gets the upper hand to scout the other much more better. But here on out, 3v1 situation, Crams is all alone. Coming up for the backup right this instant, it's gonna be Sakis mm -hmm. coming in for a fight. All Gwen, just a little bit too close to be taken out. Flappy Z is also down by the lifeline. Oh my god, Tempest of Blade in the backside, Kram taken out. Yumes will be able to get out, but Sakai is, oh my goodness, again, showing fast hands. Yumes jumps in with Innocent, who has the items already, but no! Super Marco was Innocent. clutched with it, but will have to be traded. Now Innocent still looking for that last kill on towards Flap TZ. Has the immortality, will be popped up, and that will be the last of Flap TZ. He will fall now in the hands of Innocent, surely. There you go, finally, kill spree <laughs> for Innocent. A little bit uh, disturbed by the innocent, uh, by yeah. the side of Minion. He was like, oh, wait, wait, who am I shooting? Wait, wait, okay, there he goes, <laughs> right in front. I missed my own target, but nevertheless, it's okay. He didn't manage to connect the dot anyway. Great job coming in from YRG. Good respond, that's what is needed coming in from them after wow. a very, very late game. I mean, they got the bills, they got what they needed, yeah. but still, meeting off with the team of Falcon, wasn't as strong as they expected, you know? I mean, what a, what a recovery, right? Yeah. It was um, five minutes in, it was Falcon's AP brand with the control, with the map, with the gold. But now, it's all dead even. Take a look at the economy, right? Oh, Sarji looking for an opening on towards Super Marco. The damage is there. Tempest of Blade will secure that kill. Now in the backside, Shadow Kill on towards Innocent, but no damage whatsoever. Sakai claiming the double as an assassin. Now he might look for a triple, but Stormy will fall in the process. That's a two for one still for the Malaysians. Oh, why RG? They're popping off. I mean, like, yeah, on the side of aggression, on the start, it was all for Falcon. It was all show for Falcon. And now YRG, defense-wise and responding well, is superb. They're going to actually get the, the lot. Definitely Innocence right there. But Falcon coming through. Is it going to be Ogwen who actually steals oh. it off? Just a little bit of... Oh, TZ! Steal it off for themselves. And here or not, scrimmage coming through. YRG's not happy with it. They're going to go in for a fight with Flat TZ. Even though they did manage to steal it, they want to finish him off already. It is all for naught. You get the Lord, you die. And there you go. Yumes catching two. No follow-up damage though, Super Marco. Ah, ooh, looking for that kill. Does not find it though, as Gram will be the sandbag. Ooh, ooh. Oh, few will be taken out in the process ooh. with Sakai's. As Sakai's will look for Super Marco. Super Marco has the damage. He has to be careful here. Wind of Nature popped. Nope, nope, Very nope. smart there uh, by Super Marco. Nice. Nice coming in from Super Marco. But Sakis, over, a little bit too overextension coming for him. I know that he was a little bit confident, but liking how the back and forth started out for the team of YRG. Two reds down by the numbers right now. At least one is advanced for the side of the team of Falcons. But on the side of YRG, uh, despite that the Lord has already been shut down, it's a reset for both team again. Yeah, uh, Falcons AB Brand, they got the Lord, but they didn't manage to find a win yeah. in the team fight. So. Yeah, that Lord is irrelevant. So you yeah. do Red Giants now. Yeah, they lost the Lord, but they 
low-key win the fight. So, mm -hmm. again, situation quite, quite stable. Mm -hmm. Looking at the economy and looking at the builds as well. Take a look at Super Marco's damage though. Wild, oh. 119,000. Very close towards the too innocent. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, they're, they're on a strike right now. And hopefully, this is going to be the back and forth that we are expecting. Flap TZ on the run with no, 70,725 damage. And Super Marco right down on him at the second place with 61,806. I mean, it's, it seems to see that Flap TZ is, is actually having a, a really good time. And somehow, they're going to go in for the mid lane fight. Mm -hmm. Careful here. Flap TZ has the immortality. And it seems like Yudora Giants wants to pop that immortality. Mortality yet again. Now, few looking to provide cover as well. I bet you know, Giants here, no clear window here on towards uh, onto committing fight just yet. They will just want the turtle, they will get it though. I mean, this is what we've seen so the far, the crossfire that was coming in. They they did manage to actually steal some of the buff from Sakai's uh, unit, but then it seems that SRG, YRG is doing the same as well. They say, like, if you do it to us, we can do it to you as well. And now, with 90 seconds on the clock, Lord is about to be spawned again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, okay, both teams here, they're playing it slow. They mm -hmm. realize that you mentioned the Lord. Oh, never mind. You was open things up Wait, with Gogwen. And Ogre now falls. We're 435, that's a huge window for Yudura Giants to exploit that Lord Pit. Okay, let's see. Lab TZ. Rams is overlooking and he gets the info put. And they will be able to actually um, oh, utilizing this information as well as the benefits of the fact that Falcon is a bit outside of the gap. Innocent. So a little bit more time for them to actually finish off. This Lord will be in their hands. Sakis gets the kill for the slain, and somehow Lord Advantage is up ahead for the team of YRG. Again, what a story, right? Early yeah. game, Yuri Giants. Yeah. It doesn't seem like this game was going for their side, mm -hmm. but then a couple of what, maybe five minutes later, mm -hmm. they were able to find the right positioning, right timing as well, and now they got the Lord. They, now they want to invade again. Ram being the front side, being the nuisance. Jones charging, not committing just yet though. Kyle Teasy is in there. Purple buff taken with the retribution. And now you red giants. Oh, they want to commit the fight. Oh, he finds Humes. Humes again will be taken out. It's a 5v4 plus Lord for you red giants. Nicely done. Coming in. Lots pushing through right in the mid to red. As we see all of our players. Uh, YRG coming in, Kaltizi, a little bit of damage coming through. Sakis a little bit too slow, but he's gonna go in for a fight. Super Marco in the mix of damages. It seems oh that Kaltizi still surviving though. The he's pace. gonna actually go in, but unfortunately, it's gonna be another win for the team of YRG. And the question still stands out, saying that YRG, champions of the world, was not a fluke. YRG? Why are you so good? <laughs> right? I mean, Falcons AP Bren. Wow. Wow. They swept Falcons AP Bren. Husky. I mean, game one, dominant for YRG. Right.